We are freaking deep in the back country now. Oh my gosh. Left the truck six hours ago. It was four engine hours ago. And we are remote. We are in the shiz. So we left, it's day two of the riding trip. We left the truck at about 10, 15-ish, um, 10.30. It's now uh, a little after four, we'll just call it 4.30. We've been gone from the truck for six hours. Now obviously we haven't um, had the bikes on for six hours. We had a lunch break. We had a couple different breaks where I was flying the drone, you know. Um, I have to check at the motor hours. Um, we did carry gas. Uh, we dumped the gas in the, in the bikes. But we have burned a shiz ton of energy today. Um, a lot of it has been rocky hill climbs or hill descents on the sides of, you know, these really steep canyons. Most of it has been first and second gear stuff. Tried to stay in second gear most of the time, but we'd be in first gear a lot. I'm in third gear now, I just had to check it. Um, most of the time I've not been in third gear today. We've not been moving this fast. So yesterday we did, uh, 50 miles in a shorter amount of time because we didn't get started until about one. Today's mileage is probably gonna be shorter, but the overall energy output is gonna be a lot more. Obviously, I'm not putting out a ton of energy right now, but my energy reserves are low. And I've eaten, I've been snacking. You know, we had lunch and I've had some snacks here and there. Carry the 100 ounces of water with me. I've had, I don't know how much, but. I've had 60 or 70 ounces of water. I don't drink like crazy when I'm out here because I don't want to run out. But these are long days, very fulfilling days. But they are long. And Tyler is in front of me. He's been a fantastic tour guide. He plans out the routes. He does an amazing job with it. This is one I don't think he's been on, but because the Utah, uh, dot, or not Utah, the Idaho.gov trail site is so awesome. He's able to do the homework, do the put in the study, and take the time and put these routes together. Idaho has the best interactive trail map of any that I've seen. A lot of that. 
technical, picking your way through creeks and up hills and down hills, switchbacks, and it's been an epic day, but man, it's been physically and mentally, it's been pretty taxing. More so than yesterday. Even though the overall mileage yesterday is gonna be higher. The last time I looked at my GPS communicator in my backpack, it said that the moving average speed for today was only 10 miles an hour. And that's pretty slow. I would hazard a guess that yesterday's move, oh, I can't see anything because of the glare from the sun, but I would hazard a guess that yesterday's moving average was double the speed of today's. I forgot to look at that yesterday. Dude. You all right? I got clothes lined off the bike. Where? These were all covered. Oh! Trees. I go through standing up. Do you see how my chin? Oh man. Is it bleeding? Uh, no, it's not bad. It's scraped. You have your saw? Yeah. Let's cut that sucker. Just took me right off. Oh man, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, let's cut that thing down. I covered it, and I couldn't see it. It doesn't get a ton of screen time, but we actually do a lot of trail maintenance out on the trail as we go. We'll take a saw with us, and we'll be cutting things out to make it safer uh, so you don't get your head sliced off or something like that. So we spend a little bit of time here doing that because uh, Tyler about got taken off the bike. So, and while they were doing that, I was just flying the drone around to kind of give you guys a little bit of different perspective of what we're riding out here in Idaho. This is just an amazing ride that we had at the end of August. And if you haven't entered to win the bike that I'm riding today, I don't know why you haven't done that. Head over to dirtbikechannel.com right now and get entered to win before the sweepstakes ends on December 15th. Thanks guys.